Main Street's more of a budget-friendly option. You've got the smaller apartments that definitely leave a lot more room for customization. They are also fully furnished. It's kind of our hidden gem. So you have your options of three people units or two people units. South Rock's more of our in-between property. It's not super fancy, but it's also still very budget friendly. You have the opportunity to live with three other individuals, which definitely helps with the pricing. The units come fully furnished. The bedrooms come with a desk, a dresser, a nightstand, and a full-size bed. Kitchens are fully equipped. You have a washer and dryer in the apartment, and then you have a really nice patio. Stonecrest is quiet, comfortable, classy. We offer four bedrooms and we have two bedrooms. All of our units are completely furnished. The kitchen is fully equipped. You have fridge, stove, microwave, dishwasher and garbage disposal, and you do have a patio space as well. For more information, visit us at www.southrockapartments.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Good evening, Slippery Rock, and welcome back to the Rock Media Network Campus Update. I'm Mac Lover. And I'm Sarah Anderson, and this is Campus Update. The provost search continues as interim provost Dr. Michael Zieg held two open forums, one on Monday, November 13th, and one on Tuesday, November 14th. During his presentation, Dr. Zieg laid out his plans for moving the university forward when dealing with enrollment decline and rising costs. Zieg showed lowering enrollment figures for surrounding communities and spoke about shifting focus to non-traditional students. With Zieg comes the experience of working within the interim position and his years within the university. The Rocket had the opportunity to interview Dr. Zieg earlier in the semester on the topic of department restructuring. The restructuring plan is slated to be released on November 16th. Come out and enjoy the annual lighting of the Slippery Rock Christmas tree. The 2023 Light Up Night and Christmas Market will take place on November 18th from 4 to 7 p.m. on Main Street here in Slippery Rock. Those in attendance can expect to find fun activities such as train rides, an art walk, a Christmas tree contest, and a Letters to Santa campaign at Roosters. Toys for Tots will be in attendance to accept toy donations. Toys can be delivered to North Country Brewing, the Slippery Rock Borough Office, and the Christmas Tree Market during the Light Up Night events. There will also be a food drive, so please bring non-perishable food items to benefit Feed My Sheep Food Covered. Speaking of holidays, Santa and the Grinch will be returning to West Park Alpacas. Santa will be with West Park Alpacas each Sunday starting November 26th through December 10th. We're going to go see some alpacas. Also, on December 17th, the Grinch will be making his return to try and steal the Christmas spirit. Families can come out to meet these two Christmas icons from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the specified days. Do you enjoy nature? Do you enjoy trivia? Well, we have just the thing for you. Come out for the Jennings Nature Trivia Nights. Partic participants could come solo or as a team of up to five and be prepared to test their nature knowledge. Join the Jennings staff on November 29th at the Jennings Environmental Education Center from 6 to 7 p.m. Now, let's turn it over to our guest weatherman, James Cressman. All right, who's ready for some weather? Looking at the forecast for this weekend, Friday we're looking at rain with a high of 57 and a low of 38. Saturday partially cloudy, or partially sunny I should say, with a high of 51, low of 34. We're looking at two days of sunshine, Sunday and Monday. Sunday a high of 46 and a low of 30. Monday a high of, 40, high of 42, a low of 30. Tuesday a little bit more rain just before the holiday with high of 46 and a low of 26. Cloudy on Wednesday, high of 45, a low of 32. And Thanksgiving Day, get to enjoy some partially sunny weather, high of 40, low of 26. Now we're going to go back to Matt and Sarah at the desk, where Aiden, our sportscaster from Rock Media Sports Update, will be joining them to talk to them about SRU Sports. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to your Rock Media Network Sports Update. Let's head into football. Rock football fell during their PSAC championship this past Saturday at Kutztown, 31-7. It was an outlier game of sorts, as SRU's season has been marked by dominating the line of scrimmage, which they weren't able to get a hold of during this game. 
The Rock was able to throw for more yards than the Golden Bears, but it wasn't enough as they took their first loss of the season. The good news is that their season is not over as NCAA Division II playoffs start this Saturday. The White and Green finished seeded fourth in Super Region 1 and will play host to East Stroudsburg University for their first playoff game. SRU men's basketball opened their schedule with an exhibition game versus Penn State New Kensington. The roster's new organization got off to a good start for the 2023-2024 season, downing PSU 81-58. Rock women's basketball did not get off to a good start, losing to Division I Youngstown State 32-78. Kaylin Venick led the squad with nine points. They will look to rebound this Saturday against Ursuline University, hosting at Morrow Fieldhouse. Gannon University took the rematch from the white and green after the two tied the week prior for Rock women's soccer. Seeding forced the Rock to travel to Gannon for round one. After jumping out to a lead because of a Libby Zacharias goal just under 40 minutes in, the, Rock, the Golden Knights started their offensive push, scoring back-to-back -back goals. Skyler Munikoisen tied the game back up at two, but another pair of back-to-back end -back goals put the game away and meant the end of the Rock season. Rock women's volleyball also ended their season this past weekend. It ended on a good note, taking down Pitt Johnstown 3-1 in four sets. Callie Chevalier and Erica Selfridge both totaled double-digit kills, while Kate Lachandro logged 19 digs, accompanied by Selfridge's 13 and Jaden Yost's 12. That's all for this week's Rock Media Network sports and campus updates. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next week. more of a budget-friendly option. You've got the smaller apartments that definitely leave a lot more room for customization. They are also fully furnished. It's kind of our hidden gem. So you have your options of three people units or two people units. South Rock's more of our in-between property. It's not super fancy, but it's also still very budget-friendly. You have the opportunity to live with three other individuals, which definitely helps with the pricing. The units come fully furnished. The bedrooms come with a desk, a dresser, a nightstand, and a full-size bed. Kitchens are fully equipped. You have a washer and dryer in the apartment, and then you have a really nice patio. Stonecrest is quiet, comfortable, classy. We offer four bedrooms, and we have two bedrooms. All of our units are completely furnished. The kitchen is fully equipped. You have fridge, stove, microwave, dishwasher, and garbage disposal, and you do have a patio space as well. For more information, visit us at www.southrockapartments.com. We look forward to hearing from you.